Hey guys, it's Brittany again, and I'm coming to you guys today with another wig update. This wig is a wig that I made, and I think I did it at the end of August. No, I made this wig at the end of July, and this is from Desore Hair. This is their um, Brazilian body wave hair. I had four bundles of the 22 inch and a 20 inch frontal. And I made it using the hot glue gun method and I recently washed it. I curled it up using my curl wand. This wig has a some elastic in it and I've been doing that to all of my wigs for a better fit. And that way I don't have to tack down like the whole hairline. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try it on. I made this wig entirely too big. It is humongous. The amount of space I have in this cap is just too much. Even with the elastic. A little bit of Gatsby glue at the front of the hairline because it's lifting a little bit. So I'm just going to use the black bottle and put a little bit of the Gatsby glue at the beginning of the parting space. gonna put some Maybelline Fit Me pressed powder in the parting space and that will be it. Alright guys, so I'm back and I have quickly applied this wig. All I had to do was plop it on my head and I put a little bit of Gatsby glue at the beginning of the parting space just because I made this wig so huge. Like, it's like so much space in this wig. This wig was not made that long ago, the end of July. And y'all know with my human hair wigs, I don't wear them like all the time. On a day-to-day -day basis, I am wearing my synthetic wigs. Like right now, my go-to is Free Trust Trinity and Pop Blossom. But with my human hair wigs, I'll bring them out every once in a while. This one is very long and glamorous. As I told you guys, it is 24 inches. I think that's what I said. No, this one has two 22 inch bundles and two 24 inch bundles. So um, this is a very long and glamorous wig. I did use my curl wand to achieve these um, curls. And the reason why I made this wig is because I wanted to make a wig that mimicked the wig that I made for my wedding. But the wig I made for my wedding was a closure wig and I wanted like a frontal version. And I think it looks very similar to the wig I made for my wedding. And it's holding up really well. I haven't worn it a lot, but after washing it, um, I got a few, a few strands of shedding, nothing too serious. The hair still looks very beautiful, soft. Um, I haven't gotten any tangling yet, but I haven't worn it that much to get that much tangling. Um, but now that it's colder, wearing a wig that's this full and this long is going to be um, more appropriate and I just stepped outside not too long ago. It's, it's getting a little bit cooler even in the south um, and cooler to us is like anything below 70. So um, yeah, so overall this wig is holding up really well. It's beautiful. Look at that length and y'all know I'm tall. I'm six feet tall and that's where the longest length falls on me. This is a very, very glamorous and beautiful unit. Um, and the hair itself feels re uh, really, really nice. And yeah, this is just very, very beautiful. If you guys have any more questions about this hair that you would like to know, just leave it down in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. You can also watch the original review that I did at the end of July and check it out there. This looks so pretty. This makes me want to wear some long hair. 
I think this is really, really pretty. I want to thank Desore Hair for sending me for sending me this hair to review for you guys. And I want to thank you guys for supporting my channel. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on your notifications. And yeah, we're really close to 90K, which is a big deal. Um, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on your notifications. Thank you guys for your support. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.